Hello everybody, um, this is Elmage and I'm going to show you how I was able to get through the issue I had with my system. I wasn't able to um, get into my system and then it had to do some recovery and couple with that I lost my password, I didn't get to know the password, okay? So I completely wasn't able to make use of the password that I usually use to log in to my system to restore my system back to the initial state so but what happened was that i had um installed two apps previously and then i suspected they were the apps that actually caused um, an issue with my system so as you can see here this was just the page that has been showing up and um this were the options i was left to uninstall latest quality update but then this is where I had my first issue. I was surprised that my usual password was no longer working, even though I knew the password. So I'm just trying to try if it's going to go in. Couple with that, I had even checked um, my usual password, but it's telling me password is incorrect. I should try again. This was where I got to know that I was in a very big mess. But then let's get going. I have to go back and then click forgot password and all of that. But no valid um, option. I only saw restart. And then I don't know what else to do. But then I have to just go back. And then I try to uninstall. Uh, I think I'll be faced with the same password issue. Let me just go back again. Uh, let's see. Let's go back try the startup settings um, I saw only restart option definitely I, can, I couldn't do anything there let's see it's just the restart so let's try the restart first and see what happens just stay with me to the end of this video I was able to fix it and then I just have to show you guys the whole process that I I took to fix the problem so that it might just be one of the stages that couldn't help me that will help you so one of the first option you could see the start of settings I was faced with all these options so I had to go with um, 9 I had to press F9 to disable automatic restart after failure thinking that if I should do that then I'll be able to you know get into the system even if it fails while I'm logged in okay but then it didn't really work like that didn't really work like that but just get to see what I mean so I chose F9 because I knew I was able to log in what I had to do I just had to switch it off first switch off you know so but it said it's the PC ran into a problem I needed to restart we just collected some error information and then you can restart but then the F9 prevented me from restarting so you could see it's stuck at 100% complete nothing happened but then let's keep going so what I now did was to hold the power button and switch it off totally then I had to on it again I just wanted to be sure that the F9 command I gave it could at least uh, work you know just wanted to be sure that um, um, probably I could actually make use of the F9 but I waited till it was about to get me into the system and then you see I was able oh shit this was what happened again so this was where I knew that F9 wasn't the solution then I just had to wait again definitely it was going to reach at 100 and it just got hooked there so what I now did next was to force restart then get into the settings again so I was now trying to find my way back to the function keys um, command so let's just wait a bit now I'm first restarting and I'm clicking the F2 key clicking the F2 key such that I get logged into the bio system so you can see I'm logged in here um, then the option I had to go with now was to disable early launch 
anti-malware protection that is f8 so i since i knew that it was an app issue some app could be you know contradicting or going against the system program so i had to go with f8 to disable any uh, malware issue you know stuff like that so this was what i actually did and you can't believe what happened let's just see and this time i'm logging in and everything seems normal yeah guys this was what fixed it f8 command fixed it because there were definitely some programs that i actually installed recently so i had to go immediately and uninstall those two programs because i knew definitely the programs that i installed last were the cause for the problem so i now had to go and uninstall those programs just so it doesn't cause any further issues so guys if you found this video helpful and insightful don't forget to drop a like it helps with the algorithm and um, and thanks for watching so right now I'm just uninstalling the whole program and guys that was how I got the system back to normal again